from knowing what is eye donation fortnight, who can donate their eyes, who cannot donate their eyes, and what are the myths of eye donation as described by my colleagues. I, Dr. Yash Gala, would hereby like to address on what actually happens once the tissue received by the hospital. So once the retract tissue reaches the hospital, it is received by the eye bank. Now what is an eye bank? Eye bank is a non-profitable organization who deals with procurement, storage and distribution of corneal tissues and other tissues for other purposes. So once the tissue is received by the eye bank, the concerned doctor will take the retrieved tissue and grade the quality of tissue into A grade, B grade or C grade or to make it easier, very good, good or not okay. I would also like to address that no tissue is wasted. Depending on the quality of tissue, the tissue is made into purpose for visual rehabilitation or to reduce the pain of the disease or for cosmetic purpose or to reduce the infection of the diseased cornea. So once the tissue is received, the tissue is sent for corneal excision. So corneal excision is done under aseptic sterile precautions under lamina flow hood and preserved in specialized storage medium. So once the tissue is preserved in those specialized storage media, before we make the tissue for further use, the blood sample of the disease uh, would be evaluated for serological testing to rule out infections like HIV or Hepatitis B. So once the tissue is ready for use, after the reports turned out to be negative, the tissue is, can be used for keratoplasty procedures. So, the patients who are registered with us for keratoplasty are given the first priority. Also, the children or the patients who are one-eyed are given the utmost priority for keratoplasty procedures. Now, it would be very keen or interesting for you to know what are the types of keratoplasty procedures that we have. So, the first one is penetrating keratoplasty that is PKP. Hereby, we replace the whole corneal tissue of the disease by the donor corneal tissue of optimum A grade quality for visual rehabilitation. The second one that is therapeutic keratoplasty or the quality of tissue that has been used for this is B or C grade. Thereby, we reduce the whole cornea of the disease to reduce the infection by the donor corneal tissue. With the advancement in technology, now a part or layer of the diseased cornea can be replaced by the donor cornea which is also known as lamellar keratoplasty. Now it will be fascinating for you all to know that the corneal tissue of the disease of one eye can be made into use to minimum of two patients or maximum of four patients depending on case to case basis. Now to enhance eye donation and to create more awareness, a program called HCRP that is Hospital Corneal Retrieval Program was launched basically to create more awareness and to motivate family members for eye donation by means of hiring professional counsellors or grief counsellors. So what is the job of a grief counsellor? Grief counsellor is nothing but they are made to have an unhurried manner of discussion at such times, wait for the family members to get relaxed and thereby introduce themselves and address them from which eye bank they belong and to counsel or motivate them for eye donation. Now, as we all understood now what is the importance of eye donation, so what is the first minimal step that you all can take? You all can pledge your eyes. So what is pledging your eyes? Basically, you can visit our site at www.shankaraeye.com or come to a hospital and pledge your eyes. Pledging of eye means you are giving consent to retract your corneal tissue after your death, thereby helping the needy. You will be given a donor card and a certificate of appreciation for pledging your eyes. Let your eyes live when you leave. Thank you.